welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to pop on and do a little bit of chatting with you guys and I have a little bit of a witchy haul to share um, and I also was maybe going to clean my altar and get it set up. Um, springtime I usually like to clean my altar um, and this Astara I was lazy and did not clean my altar so I'll do it now. Um, but first I wanted to chat with you guys about a couple things. Um, First is I recently reached 1,000 subscribers, which is completely insane. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you to every single one of you that subscribed. I am going to continue to post videos and I really, really appreciate your support. So thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. Next thing is I've started my Twitch account. So if you are into gaming, if you're into video games, computer games, um, or you just want to have more fun random <laughs> times with me then head on over to my twitch channel it'll be linked down below um, i'm gonna be figuring out my schedule for streaming um, over these next few months i'm a little unsure of what times work best for me um, so if you're thinking that you're going to be tuning into my streams then comment down below what times of day are best for you I'm going to be playing a big variety of different games. Um, I don't really play a lot of the most popular mainstream games just because that's not really what I'm not into. Um, so if you're into more retro games, I am really excited to stream older games. Um, I really want to stream some old computer games, like games I played when I was younger. Um, I want to play a lot of Sims, specifically Sims 3. Um, I would really love to go through all the Nancy Drew Her Interactive games and play those. Um, and then I'll also play like PlayStation games. Um, I'm really into like The Witcher, Red Dead Redemption, Fallout. The first thing I'm going to be playing on my channel is The Last of Us and then I'm assuming after that I'll play The Last of Us Part 2. But that's what's going on on my Twitch channel right now. So head on over to my channel and give me a follow um, and you guys can help me start my Twitch channel. And I hope to eventually stream other things like Animal Crossings, um, Legends of Zelda, more Nintendo games, but I don't have a Switch right now, so hopefully I'll get a Switch soon and then I can stream those things with you guys also. So let's get into a little bit of a witchy haul that I have for you guys. Um, these are things that I have accumulated over time. I did not buy all these things at once, um, but there's just a few things that I bought at a couple different shops that... I'm going to start using or I'm going to find a place for or that I'm really excited about so I figured I would share them with you guys. Um, so the first thing that I have in this haul for you guys is another book, Shocker. Um, this book is a book about Hikate. It was actually something that I bought the day that I posted my video about books on Lilith and Hikate so this book was not included in that because I got it afterwards but it's a book about Hikate. Um, it's this book right here and I'm so excited to read it. It is so beautiful um, and it's got a lot of really great information in it um, and also I'm just you know I'm obsessed with books. So I'm really excited to get started on this one. And this book is by Jeff Cullen, and it's a contemporary witchcraft and devotional tradition of Hikate. So this is another Hikate book to add to my collection. Also recently, I went to my favorite local metaphysical shop, um, which is called Alexandria 2. Um, if you are into witchy shops or if you're trying to find witchy shops and you live somewhere near me um alexandria 2 is amazing and if you become a member there you get a really great discount so i love going there and they have everything that i need a lot of the essentials i can pick up there um so i picked up some stuff there that i'm in need of uh i was needing some herbs for smoke cleansing um the first one that i picked up is this bundle that i've already been using so it's on my altar but it's a cedar bundle i don't use sage in my practice um for many reasons some reasons being cultural appropriation other reasons being the situation with the farming and harvesting of sage um as burning sage has become more and more trendy and popular, um, the there has been an over harvesting of sage, um, which is very problematic for the earth on many levels. Um, and there's a lot more about sage that I could go into. Um, also, things like cedar are just as useful, just as cleansing, just as valuable. They're going to get the job done just the same way as a sage bundle. Of course, it's going to smell different and burn different. Um, so I just don't see the point in purchasing sage if there are so many negative 
aspects to buying and burning sage um, as opposed to positives. So um, picked up a cedar bundle. I also picked up kind of on an impulse buy um, a couple crystal bracelets. Um, and these are just a few different kinds of crystals. And I always just, whenever I go in that shop, um, generally when I go in any shop and I purchase crystals, I don't look at what the crystal is or what the crystal's called um, or what it's for. Um, I just look at all the crystals and see what calls to me and what I feel like I'm most drawn to. Um, and then usually I will read the crystal um, properties afterward and it's spot on for what I need. Um, unless I'm doing a certain spell or buying a gift for someone where I know a certain crystal I want, um, I'll usually just do that and let the crystals decide for me. Um, so yeah, these are just some cute little crystal bracelets that I couldn't resist buying. And then next is a scarf. I have a scarf now on my table, on my altar. Um, and I have a few different scarves. Usually I will pick and choose what I'm wanting to have on my altar, depending on the season, um, depending on what I'm working on. And I found this scarf. It's super cute. Um, it's pink, so it matches my whole vibe I've got going on in this room. But it's just a beautiful scarf. And I think I'm going to clean my altar off. It's gotten pretty dirty. Um, take the scarf off, put the new scarf on. And we'll have a nice spring summer seasonal altar that we can enjoy. So I think I'm going to be doing that also. Another thing that I purchased at this shop is um, some rose water spray. Um, people, this is another thing where people talk a lot about smoke cleansing, um, but people don't talk often about sprays. Um, I am a huge fan and advocate of sprays. I think that everyone should have a few sprays with them. I actually carry a couple of sprays in my purse, little bottles, um, and then I have some in my car, and then I have some here, actually, you can see them right there. Um, but I think sprays are, little, my little kitten Gretel is down here staring at me. She's listening very intently. Um, but I think sprays are a great way to achieve a lot of things without having to burn anything. Um, and there are so many varieties of sprays that you can purchase and that you can make. Um, and they're so, so useful and they just feel so nice um, when you spray them. So one of my favorite all-time sprays is rose water spray. So I love to always have a bottle of this. Um, and I just recently, I have this empty bottle. It's got like just a little at the bottom and I picked up a new one. But um, these are just so lovely. I love using my rose water spray, especially for Aphrodite. I love to spray it on her altar. Um, I'm gonna spray me right now because I can't resist. Um, but it smells so good and it just feels so nice as it falls on your energy field. Um, so if you haven't gotten into sprays, I highly recommend them. I do have a bunch of other sprays too, that um, some that I purchased and some that I made. Um, so get into sprays if you aren't into them yet. And then the last couple things I got are crystals. And I bought these crystals from Nature's Treasures. Um, it's a crystal shop based in Austin, Texas. Um, I found this shop when I was in Austin, Texas, filming for my most recent documentary film. Um, and it is by far my favorite crystal shop I have ever been in um, and I've been in quite a few throughout the country um, and my all-time favorite thing about Nature's Treasures is that it's very easy to find out where they get their crystals from. Um, you can go on their website and they have all this information about where they get their crystals, the relationships they have with the people who live in the places that they get their crystals from, what the work environment is like, um, the, the way they harvest the crystals. Um, so I feel very comfortable purchasing crystals from this shop because they are so upfront with how they get their crystals um, and where they get their crystals. So you don't have to feel weird about, is this sustainably resourced? Are the working conditions questionable? Um, is this crystal real? You know, you don't have to worry about those things. Um, so I highly recommend them if you are into crystals. Um, but the first crystal I got is a huge rose quartz. Um, I don't actually have a lot of rose quartz. I think I might have some small like palm stones. 
um, but I've been wanting a big chunk of rose quartz for so long. Um, and I keep this in my bedroom just kind of to boost self-love and love in general. Um, and it does have down here space for a tea light. Um, I don't have one yet that's the right size. All mine are a little bit too big. Um, but so it's really nice. You can put a candle in here and then it can act as kind of a little lamp also. Um, but it's really, really beautiful. Just really well excavated crystal and it's got really strong energy. Just holding it makes me feel happy. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing I have to show you guys is another crystal um, from the same shop. And this is a huge amethyst. And she's glorious. Oh, I am a Pisces. Um, so amethyst is my birthstone. And it's by far my favorite crystal just because I feel such a strong connection with it. And it makes me feel so connected to spirit and to energy fields and to my psychic abilities. Um, so I like to have a lot of amethyst around in my home, but this is a big amethyst cluster and it has a space for a candle, which I put the candle in here. It didn't come with the candle. Um, but it is so beautiful and I dream of one day having an enormous, you know, like geode of amethyst that can just stand on the ground and it's so big that it doesn't need a table. That's my greatest dream, but those are, you know, those are so expensive. <laughs> maybe someday, maybe someday. But for now, this is my biggest amethyst and I'm blessed to have her. But yeah, so I have her in this room also, kind of boosting the psychic energy of the room. So that's my witchy haul to share with you guys. Um, I think I'm going to get started cleaning this up behind me and uh, we'll see the finished product when I'm done. Hopefully it looks all springy and fresh and new. so much candle wax everywhere <laughs> candle wax and incense ash and little pieces of plants So I've cleaned everything off and now I'm going to cleanse it with water and some smoke cleansing and then I'll put everything back. Ciao, 
Charles is here checking it out. He's like, what you doing to my altar? What do you think? share with you guys today there'll be more informational witchy videos coming soon um, and more vlogs and things like that coming soon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and i will see you soon thank you for watching blessed be